I have a strange fetish. In all the universe, this is something that I have experienced, and to my knowledge, no one else has. It is mine alone. This is Audio Stories by J.B. Simeon. An anonymous post on an internet forum. I have a strange fetish. At 3 a.m. on moonlit summer mornings, I ride my motorcycle down a lovely, curvy stretch of highway in the mountains near my home with no lights at over 100 miles per hour. While that is by itself unusually dangerous and admittedly suicidal, I am also naked when I perform this enjoyable ride. I get a sexual rush from the feeling of the cold air on my nude skin. During daylight hours, I am a very conservative accountant. I spend my days in a business suit, reassuring clients that the IRS audit they will soon face is nothing to be concerned about. To reassure them, I behave so strictly that I've become a prisoner to dullness. So I need these wild rides to release the tension. The route that I take is very popular with motorcyclists who like to test their skills by pushing speed to the limit. The state patrol cannot easily police the route because the road is very narrow and mountainous. It is dangerous to stop anywhere on that route without advance notice. Those characteristics attract motorcyclists of all skill levels. Each year, a handful of people discover that they are overmatched for the road and die when they misjudge their speed in taking the curves. The road has a notorious nickname, the Highway of Death. It's also called the Highway of Stupidity, but I prefer its more heroic name. Now here is the weird stuff. On those 3 a.m. moonlit rides, I start out alone, but things don't stay that way. A 16-mile stretch of the route is haunted. If I head into curve, well, if I head into the curve by mile nine at more than 70 miles an hour, a phantom female passenger grips me tightly around my waist and hits me hard on the back of my head while screaming in my right ear to slow down, slow down. The first time that this occurred, I was so startled that I did slow down. And when I was safely out of the curve, the phantom disappeared. I was alone again. I was sure that the incident had occurred. However, by the time I returned home, I had convinced myself that it had not happened. Then, on my next rides, it happened again and again. Over the years since then, I've ridden that road in moonlight and darkness, only in moonlight, at the nine mile marker, not far from the curb, does the phantom passenger appear, and only if the bike is going over 70 miles an hour. I've tested this thesis several times. When she appears now, I don't slow down. I increase my speed and I power through the curb. She beats and squeezes me until the bruises appear on my body, but she always dissipates once I'm out of the curb. According to the internet, July 1978, at that nine mile point, a female passenger, Jill Leader, was thrown from her husband's motorcycle after he attempted to take the curve too quickly and had to lay the bike down. She was killed and he was badly injured. He said before going into the curve, his wife had squeezed him tightly around his waist and was hitting him hard on the back of his head and screaming in his ear, slow down, slow down. I'm the only person I believe who knows about this moonlit phantom activity on the road. Strangely, it makes me feel special 
privileged in all the universe. This is something that I've experienced and to my knowledge, no one else has. It is mine alone. I have developed a strange rituals for my ride, like always riding at the three, time, three o'clock morning time and always riding in the nude. I've come to believe that the weirder I make things, the better the experience. Well, that was the story of I Have a Strange Fetish. I'm J.B. Simeon. I hope that you have enjoyed this story. If you would like to hear more stories, please subscribe to this channel. And also like us below. Please leave feedback also. I'd like to make these stories more enjoyable for us all.